friends today we are going to talk about the molecular basis of inheritance so let's study a molecular basis of inheritance so in earlier chapter in the biology we done with the three chapters i know just i'm going to tell you something we have done in a very short short videos okay so i have covered the things if you find any topic is not cover please mention uh, and tell me where that topic you are not understood we, i will make the video on that as well okay so please try to coordinate okay now let's talk about the molecular uh, basis of inheritance in this case what we have to understand see the discovery of dna we just have seen so let's study what is exactly the modern understanding of dna has evolved from the discovery of the nucleic acid to the development of the double helix model so double helix model was uh, given put forward by or in the watson and crick correct so frederick master began working white blood cell which are major components of the from bangles at the local hospital so he was studied over there okay so what is important here is that he isolated a unique chemical substance which he called a nucleic and chemically nucleic has a high phosphorus content so nucleic acid mein kya tha phosphorus content zyada tha moreover it is show acidic properties hence it was named as a nucleic acid see it is has acidic properties that's why it's named as a nucleic acid in 1999 uh, in 19s what happened the dna that is deoxyribonucleic acid and rna was discovered so genetic material as a dna so dna as a consider kya kya usko ki genetic material kya hame sabko pata hai ki dna is a genetic material but it observed during this experiment so by the early 1900s genetics knew that genes control the inheritance of a trait that genes are located on a chromosomes and that chemically chromosomes are namely composed of dna and proteins so initially most generic through that proteins are large complex molecules and store information needed for a given cell metabolism so it is very important for the metabolism so what is important is here is that on the other hand dna thought to be a small simple molecule scientists logon ne kya socha ki small molecule rahega but actually mein kya tha ye it's a long lasting aur bahut bada molecule tha correct it's a not a molecule you can say it's a complex molecule because it's a made up of very proteins nucleic acid a kind of thing so to be wrong in fact dna molecules are a large and a very temporarily within and among the species variations in the dna molecules are different than the variation in the shape there are many many variations now we will see ki hamara aur rat ka 99 dna uh, kya hota hai match hota hai but agar 1% mein change hua to hum log human hai he is a rat so ye difference hota hai genetic material mein Griff's experiment in 19 uh, in 1928 British medical officer Frederick Griff performed an experiment on a bacterium Staphylococcus pneumonia that comes in a pneumonia in humans that mammals give uses to strains of the two genetic variation of the streptococcus so iske upar kya kiya streptococcus ke upar experiment kiya unhone kya observe kiya do main strain unhone alag alag kiye kaun se ek the virulent tha virulent smooth pathogenic and a encapsulated virulent matlab jisse kya ho sakti hai virus bimari ho sakti hai pathogenic obviously pathogen and encapsulated means what it under the capsule okay then second strain was non virulent rough non pathogenic and non capsulated r type now tell me guys what is vaccine vaccination matlab kya hota hai agar hum log baat kare corona ki vaccine ka matlab kya hota hai corona virus ko attenuated karega attenuated karega matlab usko maar dalenge ya fir uske हीट देके उसकी जो एक्टिविटी वो कम करेंगे और हमारे बॉडी में जाएगा वो तो हमारी बॉडी विल वॉट प्रोड्यूस द इम्यून सिस्टम एंड दैट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स इज नथिंग बट द वैक्सीन रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो सेम हैपन बट देर इज अ विरुलेंट विच इज एक्टिव और नॉन विरुलेंट विच इज नॉन एक्टिव सो दिस आर द थिंग्स वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड सो ग्रिप कंडक्टेड द फोर एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द बैक्टर ही कंडक्टेड हाउ मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट फोर एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट सो लेट्स स्टडी दैट वॉट इज दैट सी यू कैन सी द माउस ओवर योर okay he give the strain rough strain there are the rough smooth heat killed and rough strain heat killed he has given the same okay so how the vaccination tested so you can see here he give the rough strain to the mouse mouse was alive but he gives the smooth strain mouse was dead he give the heat killed smooth strain mouse was ma- mouse was alive but whenever he gives the combination of the blue and red that means rough along with the heat killed smooth strain mouse was dead so what is the indication over here whenever there is a rough strain and there is a heat killed strain mouse is alive means whenever he alive that means he has created the immunity power correct so what's that experiment so ra marki and the model micro experiment in 1940 so he gave the experiment but he have never concluded what is exactly so further r a macley and the mandel experiment in 1944 after some 10 years of the research us microzoonist usne kya bola 
कि दे प्यूरीफाई द डी एन ए आर एन ए प्रोटीन्स एंड अदर मटेरियल प्यूरीफाई मतलब उन्होंने अलग से निकाल दिया टू कन्फर्म विच वन कोड ट्रांसफॉर्म लिविंग द आर सेल इन टू द एस सेल अब ये आर सेल क्या है एस सेल क्या है सी योर इज अ आंसर ही हैज़ क्रिएटेड द स्ट्रेंथ नाउ ओनली डी एन ए वॉज एबल टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द हार्मलेस स्ट्रेंथ आर इन टू द डेडली स्ट्रेंथ तो एस स्ट्रेंथ क्या होता है डेडली और ये आर क्या रफ वन सो यहाँ पर देखो परफॉर्मेंस देखो उन्होंने क्या किया आई विल जूम इट रफ नॉन विरुलेंट है और एस जो है विरुलेंट है तो आर पॉर रफ जो स्ट्रेन होगी नॉन विरुलेंट होगी एस पॉर जो स्ट्रेन होगा वो विरुलेंट होगा विरुलेंट का मतलब क्या होता है कि वो कॉज करेगा डिसीज कॉज करेगा अगर एंजाइम प्रोटीएस डाला तो माउस क्या होता है डेड होता है बट वही अगर विरुलेंट के नॉन विरुलेंट के साथ डी एन एस डाला डी एन एस डाला तो माउस लाइव होता है इसका मतलब माउस के बॉडी में वेन देर इज़ अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रफ नॉन विरुलेंट एंड डी एन एस डालोगे तो उसके बॉडी में क्या हो रहा है उसके बॉडी में इम्यूनिटी पावर बढ़ रहा है सो डी एन ए ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द बैक्टीरिया योर इज द डी एन ए ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बैक्टीरिया इज ओके सो वी वेर अबाउट टू सी दैस हैशली Harshi Chase experiment. Harshi and the Chase worked with the viruses that infect bacteria, that is, bacteriophage, which are composed of the DNA and protein. They use radioactive phosphorus P32. थर्टी टू से रेडियो एक्टिव फॉस्फोरस यूज़ करने से फ़ायदा क्या होगा कि वो कहीं भी रहेगा मार्क उसको मार्क कर सकते थे रेडियो एक्टिव का ये फ़ायदा होता है एंड कौन सा रेडियो एक्टिव यूज़ किया सल्फर सल्फर एंड फॉस्फोरस दे यूज एज ए रेडियो एक्टिव सो दे ग्रू सम वायरस इज ऑन द मीडियम दैट कंटेन रेडियो एक्टिव फॉस्फोरस सम अदर ऑन द मीडियम दैट कंटेन रेडियो एक्टिव सल्फर वायरस इज ग्रोन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द रेडियो एक्टिव फॉस्फोरस कंटेन रेडियो एक्टिव डी एन ए तो वायरस इसके पास जो रहेगा उनके पास क्या क्या रेडियो एक्टिव डी एन ए रहेगा बट नॉट रेडियो एक्टिव प्रोटीन बिकॉज डी एन ए कंटेंस फॉस्फोरस लेबल डी एन ए बट प्रोटीन जू नॉट सिमिलरली वायरस इज ग्रो ऑन रेडियो एक्टिव सल्फर कंटेन रेडियो एक्टिव प्रोटीन बट नॉट रेडियो एक्टिव डी एन ए बिकॉज डी एन ए डज नॉट कंटेन सल्फर तो वॉट डे ऑब्जर्व डी एन ए अगर सल्फर जो है रेडियो एक्टिव नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा उसका डिटेक्शन ही नहीं होगा तो रेडियो एक्टिव पेजेस वेर अलाउटेड टू द इन्फेक्टेड इक्वल है ई कोलाइ को इन्फेक्ट किया उन्होंने उसके अंदर क्या डाला कंटेनिंग द नॉर्मल पी एंड द सल्फर देन एज द इन्फेक्शन प्रोसीड द वायरल कोड्स वेर रिमूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूज बैक्टीरिया विच वेर इन्फेक्टेड बाय द वायरस विद रेडियो एक्टिव डी एन ए नाव अभी उन्होंने क्या किया रेडियो एक्टिव डी एन ए के डाल दिया उसमें तो वेर रेडियो एक्टिव इंडिकेटिंग द डी एन ए वॉज अ मैटरनल दैट पासिस फ्रॉम द वायरस टू द बैक्टीरिया सो वॉट हैपन इन दिन केस The whatever the radioactive is there, sulfur or maybe phosphorus passes from the that viruses to bacteria. That means, what we have to conclude is that viruses are outside are dead, but whenever they got got a host, they transform into the DNA material. So they don't have a DNA, they have a RNA. So what happened if there is a DNA was material maternal that passes from the viruses to bacteria, bacteria which were infected by viruses having the radioactive sulfur. So that means what indication? This indicates that protein from the viruses did not enter the bacteria. DNA is therefore the genetic material that is passed from the virus. So whatever the protein is formed is not passing through the bacteria. Only what happening? DNA is passing. Okay. We have know that uh, the viruses are maybe having RNA or DNA. Okay. So in other words, sometimes uh, uh, after infection, radioactive or the phosphorus S was tested. Only radioactive phosphorus was found inside the bacteria cell, indicating DNA is the genetic material. See here is the diagram. Bacterial phage is there where we have included what? See here. First infection is there. Then uh, blending is there. Blending means what? We have to add something into that. Then centrifugation means the machine is there. So after that, whatever the inside contains the nucleic acid, whatever it's come out, using out. So that is the centrifugation. Then phosphorus detected in the cell. That means it, it detects the phosphorus. That means what? Yes. So only the DNA has transferred because the DNA में क्या था हम लोगों ने क्या incorporate किया था radioactive incorporate किया था right तो radioactive कहाँ आया DNA से ही जाएगा ना आगे so DNA is what the transferring material okay so we have covered this much point right now so, okay next we are going to talk about the DNA packaging further so we are stopping here for that purpose okay